adventure. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's really been an adventure of my life. So started off with some small 24 wheeler project mm -hmm. and uh, never knew that it's going to expand into hospitality, adventure, counterterrorism, training. Uh, so after the 24 villas, we decided to do a small adventure park, which was which was right here. Uh, the adventure park was originally only half its size, and then it grew across yeah. as we increased the number of activities. Then we came into phase two of development of villas. Mm -hmm. By the time we had set up one resort on the mountain top, which is known as Campbell Resort, it's a 30 room resort. We started our hospitality career with that resort. After that, we did the luxury resort, which is another 80 rooms. We added it adventure resort. So there was a there was a third resort. Then we put a fourth resort, which is a villa resort. So there are four operational resorts over here. And uh, during this course of time, we grew in hospitality from one restaurant to the other. So we have got five restaurants. We have got ten banquets operational now, a 24-hour spa. Uh, along with that adventure increasing, we, we realized that there is a need for yet another business, which is which is not there available in the country. And that was something which was really close to my heart. It was counterterrorism and training for civilians. And we thought we'd make it into a day boot camp so people can go there and experience a military style of life and come back. But the day boot camp soon, the idea grew and grew and it turned into an overnight overnight adventure uh, of sorts. Uh, also, with the club coupled together with serious mode of training. Throughout this process, I knew that there were boot camps existing across the country and they were being run by some people. So globally, we researched out other boot camps. Always boot camps came with very rudimentary accommodation and hospitality facilities. I wanted to do a different take on it. I wanted to have extreme amount of luxury in the military style, which is what I'm happy that I've been able to do. Once mm -hmm. you see it, you'll be able to mm -hmm. uh, actually appreciate what I'm saying. But establishing hospitality military style that doesn't exist uh, takes takes a different kind of a thought process and thinking. So we've established 27 rooms at data over there, a presidential suite. Uh, the whole place has been designed to fit into the canvas like a club. Uh, it's been it's been very very basic materials used. It's shipping containers so that you don't do any great amount of actual construction activity there. Uh, we build in tents which are completely modular in structure and nature. Uh, every single thing has been designed with a military theme in mind. So the door handles, the knobs, every single thing. It's not superficial. It's not one or two items. It's really if you go to the depth of it, it's every single thing. Uh, the format of hospitality has been changed in design. It's uh, two king size double beds into each room. Uh, which is what usually globally in the US they use it for families. Uh, they, they have junior suites and suites which are two king size beds so the whole family can sit together. I wanted luxurious rooms where the whole family can sit together. A luxurious bathroom, twin vanities, steam, jacuzzi in every room. So it's like a suite. You will never have it in a boot camp. So it's got all the possible luxury elements. The format has been changed and yet it's very clean, quiet. And uh, every every guest is in a military camouflage uniform, so it's a whole whole atmosphere is very different. Yeah. And if you appreciate uh, uh, design from a different sense of the word and perspective, you will really really appreciate the detail that has gone into doing the place. Every little detail that you can watch, you will appreciate. Looking forward to seeing it. My pleasure. <laughs>